Hello and welcome to this Zenworks Highlights on Zap, the Zenworks application launcher, new in ZCM 2017, formerly known as the Now Launcher. Consider Zap as the new Now. We will cover the Zap placement, where if allowed, the user can place the icons on their own profile desktop or system tray and start menu. In order to do this, we'll see new features in the Zenworks Explorer configuration and the Zenworks Explorer configuration policy. We'll cover some of these settings in this demo. Zap has some switches that can configure your needs for the user's desktop. The switches can be configured to minimize or maximize the Zap window, hide the help, act like a shell with power options like shut down, restart, log in, log out, and even be a Windows Zap shell, very similar to the Now shell in previous versions, configuring the desktop as a kiosk with Zap only icons for the user. Zap login and documentation. The primary log is zmd-messages.log found in the Zenworks home logs directory. And there's also a zap.username.log, which is in the Zenworks home, which also gives some additional zap logging. And then you have the documentation on the 2017 update one site for zap. Let's have a quick walkthrough. Here we have our Windows 10 desktop. Go to the technician application. We can see we have one policy. The agent version is 17.1. And our bundles. If we look at our Zap, we can see that we've broken out the different applications into folders. These could be associated to technicians, so when technicians log into the Zenworks agent, it will show them their elevated right bundles for troubleshooting. There's also a, a search tool. If we go to all and we go technician, it'll show just those that have a description of technician in them. If we show properties, we can see technician is in these. So it has a quick search function as well. So if you have a bunch of applications and you need to find a particular one and uncertain of the name, if the description has it in it, you should be able to locate it easily. You have your hamburger menu. Refresh is the same refresh as this refresh here, which is the same refresh down here and Zach Ref. Uh, view progress gives you another pane to be able to view the progress of any bundles. Clean up user settings, we'll go over that in a minute, and then you have the About Zenworks and the Help. Let's go ahead and install Firefox. This is a virtualized app. You can see it launching. So that installed. If we wanted to see properties of that app, we can see here. We can also see the progress. Let's say we uninstall this. You can see the progress bar here. This bundle is designed to error out, so you can see the error that occurs. You'll have the red progress bar with the error popping up. Then you can go and investigate in the logging. Go ahead and repair. You can see that Firefox is verifying files. Again, the progress. And if you wanted to put this particular icon on the desktop, the user can do so. Let's go over to ZCC and see how the configuration fits in. You have your Zenworks Explorer configuration. You can disable the icon overlays, which is this Zenworks icon on top of the bundle. And you can enable the display of folders on the start menu of Windows 8.1 and above. That's a default configuration for the zone. 
you can also go into Zenworks Explorer Configuration Policy, which allows a user to pin bundles. We'll select yes. And this is an experimental feature, but seems to work quite well. And you can show the technician application in the system tray icon, the Z icon. We'll go ahead and apply both of those. And publish. Once it's applied, you should be able to see some additional pins here. So let's go ahead and refresh. See if the next version of the policy is applied. Four, very good. Now we should be able to pin to start or pin to taskbar. There it is. A new feature too is you can merge these particular folders in the Zenworks uh, control center. This is the default icon for Zenworks if you don't place an icon in the bundle itself. And let's say a customer has put all this stuff on their desktop. Let's see, we'll put this. And they can also, from the icon on the desktop, go ahead and remove from desktop, pin to start or taskbar from here or from here. And at some point, he wishes to clean that up. We can go ahead and do clean up user settings. And both the shortcuts on the system tray, on the taskbar, and the desktop will be removed. So quick and easy for the user to be able to self-help their icons for their desktop. And then you have the different views. And one other thing to note, if you look at your bundles... And you see the relationships, the assigned details, we've had a couple extra locations. The start menu tiles and the taskbar as a default setting. As far as the logging, under Novell Zenworks, logs, local store is a ZMD messages log. And you have some zap processes that happen and are recorded in there. As well as under logs, you can see who's logged in when this zap was taken. And something was run as elevated, so here's that zap log. Out on the website. This covers obviously everything about Zap, documentation updates, overview, notice it refers to now when as a shell, tells you how to, how to make a kiosk. It has the switches in here and explains them and troubleshooting. Feel free to reference the Zenworks documentation. As we've discussed the Zap, it is just a newly coded now with more features and enhancements added. Please refer to the documentation for more specifics. This concludes the Zenworks highlights on Zap, the new now.